Hi, it's Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pi Academy, and thanks for joining me today. So if you want to watch something really scary this week, don't bother going to the latest horror movie or watching uh, Dateline on NBC or anything like that. All you have to do is go to YouTube or Google and type in the words, how to cook a spaghetti squash. I guarantee you, your search will bring up all sorts of frightening videos of people using very large knives in irresponsible ways to try to cut open a spaghetti squash. I mean, you'll be on the edge of your seat just waiting for the blood to fly. You see, the problem is spaghetti squash has a very hard shell. And trying to cut into the thing is, is something like trying to carve an armadillo, even though I've never tried that or eaten armadillo, by the way. But I have eaten a lot of spaghetti squash, and I love it. And I think you will too, once you figure out how to get inside the blessed thing without cutting your hand off. So I'm gonna show you one safe way to do that. It's not the only way, but it's the safest way I know. The first thing you need to do is soften up the shell a bit so you can actually cut it with a knife. And we're gonna do that by steaming it. So pour about an inch of water into a large pot. It doesn't have to be quite as big as this one. Add the squash, then bring the water to a boil and cover the pot with a lid. Set the timer for 20 minutes. And now since you've got 20 minutes to kill, go and download a copy of my new ebook, Pi Zero to Pi Hero on Amazon if you haven't already. After 20 minutes, remove the spaghetti squash and let it cool off for a few minutes. Then slice off a little of the stem end. Now you can cut the squash in half lengthwise without any problems. Let it cool briefly, then scoop out the seeds. And don't worry if you don't get all of them, you can get them later. Now you've got to finish cooking the squash because after these 20 minutes, it's not going to be quite done yet. And you can either do this in the microwave or in the oven. If you're doing this in the microwave, put about a quarter of an inch of water in the bottom of a microwavable pie plate or casserole and microwave it on high for about five or six minutes or put a little water in the bottom of a shallow casserole, douse it with olive oil and sprinkle it with salt and pepper and bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 or 25 minutes. The squash will be done when you can easily pierce it with a paring knife. Let the squash cool off for a few minutes and then scoop out the flesh. If the shell is peeled off like this, just put the flesh in a casserole and pull the strands apart with a couple of forks. A bit of salt and pepper, maybe some butter and Parmesan cheese, and you've got a great vegetable side dish. Of course, you can always use the spaghetti squash to make this fabulous spaghetti squash quiche recipe that you'll find below. It's from my book, The Harvest Baker, and I think you're gonna absolutely uh, love it, especially in these cooler months uh, while we're still in winter, but not quite in spring yet. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, if you are not already a member of the Pi Academy, please go over to thepiacademy.com and join, and we'll see you again next time. Take care.